Life after 50 is full of change. Some welcome, some not. But it can all make us feel like we're glued to the floor. Well, stick with me because today you're going to find out how to get unstuck and find your life. Hi everyone, I'm Barbara Hannah Grufferman, host of the best of everything after 50. You know, getting older can be really tricky. Things change, it can throw us for a loop. Like maybe your kids are grown and moving out or not. Maybe aging parents are moving in. Perhaps you're starting a new relationship or ending one. Whatever it is you're planning, the key to success is getting unstuck. Because if you don't, you can't move forward. Best-selling author and organization expert Julie Morgenstern is here with us today to tell us how we can get unstuck after 50 and move on with our lives. Julie, you're going to be our guide. So tell me something. I have a few questions. What are some of the things that can happen after we turn 50 that can make us feel like we're glued to the floor and we just can't move on? Yeah, I think when you turn 50, it's probably the most traumatic birthday for most people that I've ever worked with or met or in my own experience as well. And so just the fact that your life arc is now not all up is a big change. It's like, whoa, there's limited time. In your best-selling book, which I absolutely love, Shed Your Stuff, Change Your Life, you talk about something called personal theme. And you say how that can become your guiding light in your life to get to where you want to go. Can you talk about that a little bit? Sure. So I think when we're stuck, we get stuck because we don't know where to go, but where we are isn't it. And you need to kind of have something you're reaching for because in my experience nobody lets go into a vacuum. Nobody lets go of what they're currently doing unless they're reaching for something else. And a theme is more of a guide, it's a broad expression of what you want your life to be rather than specifically what you're doing. So it's a feeling that you want to have in your life or it's a part of yourself that you want to now express that you haven't had a chance to yet. And it's a simple word, creativity or um, freedom or taking care of myself because I've all in the past taken care of others and a simple phrase can help you reach forward and start to imagine how you build your life from here to fulfill that theme. You also talk a lot about clutter and it all its forms. There's a lot of different kinds. Can you take us through each one and maybe give us a tip or two on how to deal with that clutter? Yeah, so clutter to me, a lot of people think of uh, clutter as junk, but clutter is really what is obsolete in your space, in your schedule, in your habits, things that are still in your life that no longer are relevant and they weigh us down. So you really want to, when you, to get unstuck, you want to kind of inventory what's tangibly weighing you down. Go room by room for all the stagnant piles or drawers full of stuff that you never go in. And that's your clutter in your schedule obligations that no longer fuel you. That's a tangible thing that you can start to look at releasing. So find the clutter in your life first, inventory it, and then you can find ways to start shedding it. What are the three top tips that you love to talk about, about shedding and moving on with your life? What can you, what can you offer us? So I would say that once you've inventoried and you know where the clutter is in your life, you want to tackle it one category at a time. So if you're going to finally declutter your bookshelves or declutter your closet or declutter your papers or declutter your schedule, do it by category, not by room. Two, I would say before you get rid of anything, on a piece of paper, ask yourself, if all this were gone tomorrow, like that, what would I miss? And write down, I would miss the hand-signed books, or I would miss the clothes that really fit. And that becomes what I call your treasure guidelines. And the third tip is make sure you post that up on the wall of the space that you're decluttering and use it as a guide for what to keep versus what it's time to release to make room to get unstuck. Oh, thank you so much, Julie. I feel like I'm really ready to get unstuck now and move on. Okay, here's your plan. If you have a clear picture of what your future should be, and if you can get rid of the clutter that's keeping you from getting there, you'll be ready for just about anything. Until next time, remember this. We can't control getting older, 
but we can control how we do it. I want to hear from you. Leave your questions about living your best life after 50 in the comments section below. Connect with me on Facebook, Twitter, and my blog on aarp.org.